as House members is, is one thing. It, it's, it's an entirely different calculation, and it's why you see the Trump campaign walking away from Trump's smear against soldiers who die or are injured serving the United States of America, suckers and losers. I mean, you see a different scramble from the Trump campaign itself. Yeah, well, the Trump campaign, because I think they are trying to win the people on his campaign, despite many of like the way that Trump, um, you know, has no interest in sort of inviting Nikki Haley voters back into the tent. The campaign is trying to figure out how to win. And they know things like suckers and losers are one of the things that are a big liability for Trump. And we hear that from swing voters all the time. I still think it's the fact that Trump did this has not penetrated super, super deeply, but for high information voters, um, but who are still center right. That's one of the things that they bring up pretty often in the focus groups uh, is that Trump sort of smears against soldiers. Uh, the fact that he, you know, is sounds like a crazy person when he talks. Uh, I am actually glad, I have to say, to have Trump back in the limelight and out of the courtroom, because I think that the way that Joe Biden wins this election in many ways is going to be about uh, people remembering why they dislike Donald Trump so much. You know, we talk about the double haters a lot, but I think it's important for people to understand that the voters actually don't hate Joe Biden. They think he's too old and they're not huge fans, uh, but they do hate Trump. And when they see Trump and they see him behaving this way, they remember Oh, yeah, he's a global embarrassment to the United States. He's not a smart person. Uh, this person shouldn't be within a thousand feet of the White House, not the or, and not the least of which the Capitol, because he fomented an attack on it. Uh, and so good. Donald Trump, get out there. Be Trump. Remind America who you are. And let's hope that America uh, rejects you again like they did last time in 2020. So, Tim, I spent an, an 